want to get in it. I want to rent that van for you for like four days. Ready? Darren Collison now joins us. Darren, you were asked tonight was a very historic game. Number 1,000 for Sean Mary, and not to mention number 900 for Elton Brand. And now with the win tonight, Coach mm -hmm. Carlisle, two away from 500. Which one of those three really captures your attention? All of them. You know, um, they mean so much to the game. Um, you know, especially Sean Mary. You know, he's, he's done so much you know, for the team. And, uh, you know, he's a great team player. You know, he has a heck of a career ahead of him. And uh, we're all happy for him. <laughs> it's only going to keep getting better for him. You know, Sean Marion is, is probably one of those guys that you're going to love playing with because he plays so hard and he's, he's unselfish. Now, I recall about three weeks ago on this day, you were sitting right here and telling everyone around you that one game can change the scope of a season and can change the direction of the team. You've now won six of eight. You take away one three-point loss to Oklahoma City. You could be talking about a seven-game win streak. How do you feel about the direction the team's taking right now? Uh, man, I like it. You know, it's a, it's a bad atmosphere. You know what I mean? And that's how the NBA is. You, know, you can't get too low and low. You can't get too high and high. And that's it. All I did was take this one game to get back on track. And uh, like I said before, you know, we was very optimistic during that time. We got on one game, and now we're feeling a lot better about ourselves. Nearing the All-Star game, uh, any concerns about some of the younger players t getting a lull and losing their focus as far as looking ahead to the second half of the season with the uh, break? Nah, we got good bets to keep our, our minds pretty level-headed. Um, you know, we, our team is mostly better. Like, so um, we'll be fine. You know, we don't got to worry about that type of stuff. Okay. Any concerns with playing Phoenix again in a couple of days when they won't be on a back-to-back? -back? Say it again. Any concerns that you may have with Phoenix not being on a back-to-back -back next time you meet them? Nah, I mean, every team is good right now at this point, you know, in the season. Um, you know, regardless if we playing a team against back to back or not, you know, they're still gonna give us a run for their money, just like we will with them. So I mean it's gonna be a good game all along. Thank you for your time, cool. Darren. All right.